Hey everybody, Real Rhino checking in live from the office. Well, it's live for me right now, but when you see this, it's, it, well, you know. Uh, good to be with you again. It's been about eight days since my last post, and I apologize for the delay. I've been tied up at an instructor development class, and to the instructors of the instructor development class, that would be Jack, Dan, and Matt. Thank you very much. Everyone that attended really enjoyed it, and we took a lot away from it. I believe that they will probably be checking in with the real Rhino since one of the things I posted about or presented about in that class was uh, the real Rhino and, and how I cut movies together, clips together, and things like that. And I, I think they really enjoyed it. And to anybody else in the class that's checking in, good to see you. In the year 2009, and I may have announced this before, but I'm coming out with it officially. In the year 2009, I intend to lose 100 pounds. Originally, my plan was to spend minute for minute time in the gym for time I spent at the theater. Well, I've already been to 11 movies in 2009, so I'm already way behind schedule because sadly, I haven't spent one minute on the track or a treadmill or lifting weights or anything like that. So I'm hoping to play a little catch up. Uh, to make it interesting, two of my friends and myself are going to do a little friendly competition. Uh, currently, I'm tipping the scales at 385. Here's a picture of me right now. Oh boy, yeah, not so pretty. My friend Jamie, who's coming to us from the uh, state of Maryland, he is also weighing in at 385. So really, he and I will be head-to-head, -head, tipping out at 385 right now, and here's a picture of Jamie. Oh yeah, yeah, side-by-side. Side. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be pretty, I know. And then a friend of mine who has asked not at this point to be named will also be competing. He's shooting to lose 50 pounds, and uh, here's the cop-style photo of him. Weighing in at 275. So I'm going to be keeping tabs with the competition here on The Real Rhino. But why am I really here? To talk about the movies. You know I love the movies. And you know you give me two hours free time on any given day and you'll probably find me at the theater. Well, since I last checked in, I've been out to see eight movies. And I'm going to quickly uh, go through those movies, talk a little bit about them. And then I have some clips I shot out at the theater I'm going to share with you also. First up, Rachel Getting Married. I got to see that at the Glenwood Arts Theater, which is a fantastic movie theater. It's in Overland Park, Kansas, and if you ever have the opportunity to go there, I highly recommend it. The manager was ushering people to their seats. Uh, it was a packed house. Great place to see a movie. Very vintage. Had that old-style movie theater feel to it. As for the movie, loved it. Anne Hathaway did a great job. Uh, there's talk that she'll be getting an Oscar nomination for her role in that movie. I hope that she does. Uh, it's just a fantastic movie from start to finish, and I will talk about that a little bit at the end. I filmed a little clip out at the theater. Hey guys, Real Rhino checking in from the Glenwood Arts Theater in Overland Park, Kansas. Uh, a fantastic movie theater. I would recommend it to anybody that lives within driving distance of this place. Uh, the, the general manager was ushering people in and, and greeting and calling out a uh, number of seats left and just really doing a fantastic job of running this theater. So I think that it is definitely worth a visit. It's one of the finer theaters I've been to in some time. Uh, and Kansas City does have a good number of art house theaters that are, are well worth the trip to see them. As for today's feature, Rachel Getting Married, another movie in my Oscar run. I believe that this will be nominated for several, uh, including many are predicting for uh, best screenplay, and that would be Jenny Lumet, daughter of the illustrious director Sidney Lumet. Uh, fantastically woven tale, and it stars Anne Hathaway as Kim, and Kim is the sister of the title character Rachel, and of course Rachel's getting married. A friend of mine had recommended this movie saying that no other film he had ever been to had quite captured the wedding going experience like this one. And after seeing the movie I have to agree with him. I was walking out of the theater and I overheard two movie going patrons uh, say one to the other, boy that is some crazy family. Not as crazy as ours though. And I think that's really what this movie does is no matter where you come from, no matter uh, what kind of family you, you were raised with, uh, there's going to be some characters in this movie that you can relate to, and I think that's the beauty of this film. One of the downsides was 
its use of the handheld camera and actually there were two folks sitting directly behind me that we were fairly close to the front they actually got up and left because they couldn't take the camera movements I will say if you do go to see it the first 10 minutes are a little bit more shaky than the remainder of the film so if you can stick it out for those 10 minutes this is well worth the trip to the theater uh, I'm going to give this four out of five horns I've been right in quantum of solace saw it again couldn't help it James Bond keep making them that's all I have to say about that the Tale of Despero, well, I had that two hours of free time and I needed something to fill it. I went and saw The Tale of Despero. I'm the real rhino. I'm going to be at the movies. Can't help that. Uh, the one I was really looking forward to was The Unborn by David S. Goyer. He wrote and directed it. He was also the writer of The Dark Knight. Uh, I had high hopes because of the success with The Dark Knight, but mostly based on the preview I saw uh, for that movie. It did not meet my expectations, and I think it was mostly because... It was rated PG-13. It was not an R-rated horror movie, and I think to really have an effective horror movie, and there may be those that disagree with me, I think you need to have the R rating. You need to have the brief nudity. You need to have the cursing, the F-bombs. You need to have it all to really bring the wood with the horror movies. Uh, I'm hoping that Friday the 13th, the remake that will be coming out soon, uh, actually released on February 13th of this year, does just that and is a, a, a remake that is really worth the time and worth the name Friday the 13th and all the cheese ball great horror movies that they've given us through time. Seven Pounds with Will Smith and Rosario Dawson, Barry Pepper. Uh, very depressing. Very, very depressing movie. Uh, not a lot of redeeming good feeling qualities from that. Uh, I believe when it was out in previews it was kind of portrayed as an uplifting movie. There were people that said if you don't cry at this movie you're not a human being will call me a robot because I did not shed a tear. Tracy, of course, did, but that's standard issue for any kind of sad movie. I did cry at Marley and Me, I will admit that if I haven't said that before, but as for Seven Pounds, really not a lot of substance to it. I thought it was a really depressing movie. Um, I, well, I would be giving spoilers away if I told you any more about it, so we'll just leave it at that. Pretty depressing. You want to say anything? I mean, sad, depressing movie. Very sad. The next one I saw, Australia. Boz Lerman, fantastic work on Australia. People complained that it combined too many elements of too many different types of movies. Romance, uh, war movie, uh, western. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I don't know if the country uh, of Australia got their money's worth. I know that they put about $8 million into the marketing, and it did not do as well as they had hoped, and really, I think the one thing that it was short on was showing the beautiful uh, countryside, the hills, the mountains, the, the, the desert, the river valleys of Australia. They did a little bit, but they could have done a lot more. But the story was great. I really enjoyed that. Hugh Jackman and Nicole Kidman, thumbs up. Uh, Bride Wars, enough said. That's all I got to say about that. I went and saw Bride Wars. I'm sorry. I, I'm just, I, what are you going to, Real Rhino at AMC Theaters. Saturday morning, just exiting Bride Wars. I think that says it all. Have a good day. Uh, and then today, I saw the movie Autopsy. It's a part of the After Dark Horror Fest. Uh, they have eight films as a part of the After Dark Horror Fest. The other one I'm hoping to see is The Butterfly Effect 3 Revelations. Ooh, very, very uh, titillating title, I know. Uh, as for Autopsy today, standard horror fare. Robert Patrick, uh, he shows up on screen, and I think folks are thinking, hey, you were the bad Terminator in Terminator 2. He'll always be known as the bad Terminator. I like him as Colonel Ryan in uh, the, the show The Unit, but standard horror fare, autopsy. Uh, as for what's next, I don't know. We're trying to see the reader this week. I'm really hoping to. Uh, Kate Winslet just picked up a Golden Globe for the reader. Uh, she also won a Golden Globe for Revolutionary Road, so she won the Best Actress and Best Supporting Actress, Golden Globes. Pretty fantastic uh, 2008 for Kate Winslet. I think that's all I have. I just want to say hey to Kristen, uh, to John, to Rocco. Hey, buddy. Hope you and Daddy are checking out The Real, wine, Real Rhino. Uh, little guy Rocco, he was watching The Real Rhino, and he, he, he goes, Hey, there's Rhino. He sweats when he eats. Well, hopefully in 2009 we can cut back on the sweating while we eat. And when I come to you in 2010, it'll be the newer, slender, real rhino. That can be the uh, uh, half rhino, something like that. Well, 
there's going to be some clips from the theater. I hope you enjoy them. And until next time, this is The Real Rhino signing out. Take care.